Evening everyone, how are we all? Hope you're okay. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Gran Turismo live stream. We're going to do a few hours of just testing out daily race, uh, not daily race, um, GTL series manufacturer race for tomorrow. It's a pretty simple one. There's no real strategy to worry about, but um, just to get ourselves used to the track, hard tyres as well, because it's hard tyres only. It's going to take me a bit of time to get used to. I've just done some time trial, but I really don't like group three on hard tyres at this track. Don't like it one bit, but um, we need to try and find some pace. So I'm going to set up a lobby. We'll have a little practice and we'll do a couple of races and just try and get ourselves um, used to the combination. But yeah, thank you all for coming in. Appreciate you turning up to the stream. Hit that like button. It all helps us out, channel. Uh, it's all helps us out chat on the channel and um yeah we'll we'll get started let me get my settings up on i need to find the settings for this race chat that's a good point i need to get the settings da, 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 da. we need um what are we looking for gt engine so let's just get the settings up on here so that we can get the correct conditions Yeah, I, I know that's the only thing about... I mean, I'll see what I'll do tomorrow with the dailies. I might just do... I might even just do some different stuff tomorrow, like daily A or... Might just have a laugh in between. I don't know whether I'll do daily C or not. I'm not sure. Um, uh, race info. Uh, manufacturers. Right, okay, so... Oh, where's it just gone? There it is. It keep why does it keep what's it doing it keeps going back to nations stupid website right let me just delete thing and then we'll set this lobby up right, let's do that but yeah i hope you've all had a good day um we did do a video earlier i've i don't know chat you know i'm I, I might stop doing the um highlights for the gt world series by the way i i i don't see the i think it's a waste of time um i might just we need to start using our time for videos in a better way because people don't really watch them highlight videos. So what I'm thinking of doing is binning off the highlights videos of GT World Series because if people want to watch it, they'll go and watch it on the live stream. They'll just find the race on the live stream and watch it, I think, because that's what I think is happening at the moment. No one's really watching the highlights videos of GT World Series. They don't do very well. So I think I'm going to not do them anymore. Um... So what I'm going to try and do is try and get some different, spend the time to do different type of videos, to be honest, um, different type of stuff. And um, yeah, leave the highlights videos because they just, I mean, the only one we could do is the Interlagos with the bug, with the um, wheel, the gear change, which I want to do is maybe a, um, about PD need to fix the current state with the wheels. That's the only one I, I think we need to get sorted. But other than that, I don't think I'm going to waste my time with them. Um, yeah, Alabama, you might, but... I've got to be honest with you, mate. I'll, I'll, I'll just show you something. Well, I won't show you. I'll just tell you now. The problem is, mate, one view doesn't help me as a, as a channel. Like, you've got to think... I've got to think about it as something to, imp like, to progress the channel. And uh, let me just show you now. At the moment, so... What's this? this isn't even loading. Just to give you an example of why I, it's just not worth my time. It's just, it, it, it literally is a waste of a day, put it that way. Um, for some reason, it won't even load the stats. So I think YouTube's having a... I think YouTube's down. Why is my... I think the app's down a bit. The app doesn't seem to be wanting to work. Right. Okay, so the video's been out since 1 o'clock today, right? And it's currently on 652 views, chat, for... That's nearly five hours. You you do the maths on that, chat. <laughs> that's shite. That's, that's pointless. That is honestly... I should be getting 600 views an hour at least to make it worthwhile. Um, so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave them for I think I'm gonna leave them highlights videos and focus on other stuff that's gonna maybe help people out. And I we need to do stuff that's gonna get views. So we're gonna start changing some of the videos around. Start doing different videos because the highlights videos pe most people already watch it in the live stream. Um, most people watch the race in the live stream. So they don't watch it again. So, yes, we're not going to do them anymore, I think. We're going to bail the highlights videos and do other content for videos because we need to make sure we're using our time wisely and that isn't using it wisely. 
Yeah, you might have done that. I, I get that some people do, but if only 600 people in five hours are doing that, it's not worth it's not worth it i need to i need to get videos that do well otherwise my channel isn't going to do well so I, ha I remember i do this as a job so i have to really make sure the videos are doing better um i need to make sure the videos are, uh, are more what people want to watch on the channel right let's because like the track guide video for thursday does pretty all right it does that uh, some weeks it gets twenty thousand views some weeks it does 10 some weeks it does six but they do all right but that the, the highlights videos just they don't do anything uh daily race next week's daily race videos are not even that great to be honest they're only like i think that's they, they only get like two thousand after see i i need to be getting ten thousand video views of video really for a channel of my size chat you got look we're 65 it's nearly 65k we should be getting 10k views at least on every video and like at the moment we're not because we're not doing content that i think is grabbing the attention of other users i need to try and get more like i know it sounds bad but you've got to get a bit more clickable videos you've got to do it or the channel's just going to go Whew. so yeah we're going to start changing some of the videos um they they would do shit as well jeff that's the problem they 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 you've got to do content that people want to watch and uh, it's a hard one it's a really hard one like Track guides, we do we do them already. They're already on the channel. We're not going to stop doing track guides, but I need to do videos that people are actually going to want to click on. Uh, right, GT World Series uh, manufacturer practice. So what I'm probably going to do is maybe uh, I don't know. I know there is another. Uh, there is one video that I want to do. I know I've been wanting to do it for a while, to be honest. Um, that should do all right on the channel if if we get it out and it, that's what I, I think i'd rather focus on that video than do pointless hi highlights videos even if it means only doing one or two videos a week at most i think it's better to do that and focus on a video that will actually do well on the channel than one that will just flop so yeah that's what we're probably gonna do uh all right grand valley so it's 10 laps um what time of day is it it is afternoon five past three in the afternoon i presume that's the best setting but i'll check that when i go in the lobby in a minute um times zero okay well this race is this race is really not eventful for the settings is it <laughs> i'm just it is a rolling start isn't it Yeah, it's a rolling start. BOP is arm. Undo that. Break bias arm. Uh, yeah, I'll change. I'll put that on there. Don't worry. Uh, it doesn't. To be honest, this doesn't even make any difference anyway. They still join. GT one. Uh, GT one drivers. A plus and A only in capitals <laughs> they'll still join um right we need to change that as well um yeah that doesn't matter but it's like that grip is real should be plenty mechanical we'll leave we'll leave mechanical on light because it's practice we don't we don't need the um we don't need full damage on for practice uh we'll put five minutes plus uh we'll do two we'll do two out we'll do two minutes just to make sure oh no that's, that's off um group three usable is racing it's only hard tires chat it's it's a no stop race flat out I don't, I don't think there's even a pit stop is there, chat. I think it's just 10 laps flat out from start to finish, if, I, if I'm correct. Um, do you know what? For practice, I'm not putting them on. I know you've got to avoid the penalties on the wall, but for the sake of practice, just keep the flow of it. A week. Um, counter, that doesn't matter. Right, let's save that, overwrite that. 
GT World Series manufacturer. All right, let's just double check all the settings and then you can start jumping in. Please make sure you're A plus or A if you're jumping in the practice. Um, we always do this for GT World Series practice. We always make sure it's GT1 drivers. Uh, light one one. Da, 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 da. I think that is okay. Okay, I think it's all correct. Right, the wind direction needs to be. Can anyone remember the wind direction? I think it's. I can't remember it. I've just been in time trial and I'm supposed to check it out. I think it comes from. And I'll go. Let me just go to track and I'll see. I'll see what the wind speed and direction is. Let's have a little look and see. It's not group four, mate. It's group three. Right, so let me just go to track. Um, oh, I need hard tires on, don't I? Right, no, no. Restart lobby, restart lobby anyway. That's way, <laughs> the wind's way too strong, chat. That wind's way too strong. It's five. You need, it's like it's only two. Some I think it's two. Let me just double check the. Um, let me just double check the on the time trial now because I'm pretty sure it's um, two point something and going across. So it, like into your face on the straight a bit, but at an angle. Let me just get it so I've got the exact. Um, but yeah, that was way too strong. We can't use five point five. That's miles too strong. Let's just have a little look here. It's not group four, Alexander. It's group four for you, but you're not for me because I'm in group one. I'm in GT1, mate. You, you, it's, trust me, it's group three for me, 100%. No, mate, trust me. It is, it's, <laughs> it's group four for you because you, whoever's doing it is lower rank. I'm in GT1 means um, group three, trust me. <laughs> um, right, let me just go to track. Right, so it's 2.4 and... Like, yeah, okay, so it's going that way, right? Okay, let's go and um let's go and get it set up. Right, try again. I really need to wrong button. I really need to figure out hard tires on this game. That's where my pace lacked hard tires. Soft tires pretty strong, but on hard tires I, I am shy. Uh load settings. Try this again. Right, let's see what we get. We need it going that way. 2.4. So if it's above four, chat, I'm gonna restart the lobby. So just be patient before you join because I need to check the wind speed. Because if it's too strong, I'm just gonna start another lobby up. Like that's too strong. That's even stronger. So yeah, six is way too strong. We need to. The problem with this track is you need to get the wind speed about what it'll be because if it's six, it's going to be so far off for some of the corners on this track. It'll affect the way the car drives. So we don't want it. We don't want it above four. I'll take 3.8, 3.9. That won't bother me. I mean, it'll still affect the car, but it won't be as much as like five. Let's have a little look and see. All right, let's go to track and see. I'll piss off. <laughs> Are we going to get one with low? I know you will get one, chat. It will happen in a minute. You've just got to get lucky. This is, we have to do this every week. All right, let's load that up again. Come on, game. Give me the settings. Give me the settings. Give me the settings. You, you might. We got it the other day, didn't we? We got it the other day when we was looking for it. It just You just have to keep being... It's the wrong wind. No. The wrong direction. Needs to be going the other way. <laughs> Sorry about this for the people that are joining. <laughs> I'm just trying to get the speed to be close to what we need. If we don't get it in a minute, I'll give it... A, I'll give it three more goes, chat. If we don't get it, then we'll... Um, we'll just do zero. Um, we'll just do zero. We'll give it a couple of goes, though. We've got to try a couple of times. Yeah, that's not it. 
<coughs> Try again. Two more goes, and then we go to zero. <coughs> <coughs> Two more goes. Come on. Come on. Give it give me good give me the correct wind speed. Piss off. One more go and then we go to zero. One more go. BMW for manufacturers. Um uh, I don't know. I don't really know, you know. I don't think it's the best. I don't think it'd be the best, but I don't think it'll be the worst. Do you know what I mean? I think it'll be like a mid, mid, I don't know. I, I can't see it being the best for manufacturers, but I don't think it'll be the worst. So, yeah, up to you, really. Yeah, we're not going to get it. We'll just run zero, chat. Running zero is going to be the best way to get this testing, really. It's just not going to work, is it? So, we'll just run zero. <sighs> right, let's change the settings then. Let's just do it as equal conditions. Um, um, that'll do. Can't be bothered, dude. We're going to be there all day. Yeah, we got the right weather, yeah. SO2. It might just be slightly different time of day. I'll, ch I'll check the time of day now. Let me just have a little look. See what the time of day is. Uh, it's a bit late, but I don't think you can get it much. Honestly, I don't think you can get any closer because the other setting will be too early. It's just, yeah, not much you can do there. You just have to run it a bit later. The time of day won't make a huge difference here, I don't think. It shouldn't make that much of a difference. <laughs> All right. Let's go then. Time to try and find some pace on the hard tyres. Is our weakness really on the game? You right, Naz? Who's that in front of us? Is it Shadow? I'll um, just give myself a bit of a gap. Oh, shit. Yeah, GT1 drivers only, please. Um, I will obviously remove anyone who's not GT1 in a minute. I do think I'm going to struggle more than we... Like, normally my pace around here is pretty good, but I think I might struggle a bit with um, the hard tyres, you know, chap. I just don't like hard tyres on this game.
we'll see if we can find some pace. So I'll do some more time trial tomorrow, definitely. Oh, I've cooked that way too slow. <laughs> just, I've literally just crawled through that corner. I don't know what I'm doing there. That was way too slow. We'll take a lap to warm up the tyres, I think. But obviously on hard tyres, it's going to need that extra that lap just to get the heat in them. A bit wide there. And there. What am I doing? That's terrible. any rugby this is my first run on it I haven't done anything this is my first practice and ah crap I hate the track limits on this track hate them I would think we're aiming for like mid 47s or something like that. But. It's going to be a penalty, isn't it, on this lap? I might. I'll just carry on because. to get that middle sector right. Oh, that's too late on the brakes. Too late on the brakes. Yeah, I think I would think mid 47s is what we need to aim for for me, like 47.6, 47.7 around that area. I would think somewhere like I would think like Jack and that I would predict would be in the low 47s probably because they're doing 46s. So Jack's in 46s in the time trial, so I would predict Jack will be like 47.34, something like that. I haven't done any time. I've, only, I've literally done three or four laps in time trials, so I, I'm not up to pace yet. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure it out now, and then we'll um, do some time trial tomorrow. So Maxo's going the BMW. Maxo will be a good a good judge for you, chat. Um, for anyone wondering about the BMW, Maxo's gone BMW, so he'll, he'll give you a rough idea of how that car is because he's a very, very quick driver. Let's give yourself a gap. Depends what car they're in, though, Robbie, I'd say. It'll depend on the car, like McLaren. I mean, I can see a full, I can probably get in the 47s now, and I'm only just, I've done no laps, I've done no practice, so I would, people like Jack are surely gonna be on mid to low 47s, I would think. Obviously, we haven't got wind speed on this practice lobby because we can't get it right. We tried it a few times, but it wasn't getting near where we needed. It doesn't feel too dissimilar to time trial though to be honest this it feels pretty close 
from the four or five laps I just did, it doesn't feel massively different. Nah, so far wide there. Gotta get it tighter. Gotta get it on that white line. No. Shocking. That's really bad. Oh, I've messed it up again. Keep messing it up. It's too wide. Uh, it's a lift a bit. Tied to this corner, I keep messing that up there. F. Don't know why I went into first there, that's messed it up. Messed it up all the way through there. Definitely gonna help getting like if uh, if you can get the extra lap in because the tires warm up, the tires get better. Apex. Ball bag. <laughs> oh well. Right, let's just go back to the pits just so that we're not the tires are about where they should be. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the way I mean it feels it feels similar to the time trial in terms of grip. So yeah. I'll do what I will just leave it like this for the practice today, and then um, I'll do time trial practice tomorrow. 
I'll mainly do TT practice tomorrow, so. We got the um, rotation bug again, chat. Look. Look at this. <laughs> so annoying, this. Like, you can't. It won't match. Look. 90 degrees again. PD needs to fix this because, look, 180 is 90 degrees. 90 is like 45. They need to get it sorted. Obviously, to fix it, you just press pause and it should be. It should be fixed now. So it's fixed now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a game issue, Renetto, mate. It's just a game issue. Not, it's not an individual wheel issue. It's, it's a game issue at the moment. Like, the games... Whatever they did on the last patch, it's done some weird stuff to the wheels. common issue at the moment, Ian. It's not, it is annoying. Great start to the lap. You right, Consta? How are you, mate? We'll get a qualifying started in a minute. Just gonna have another little run on this. I think we should be able to get 47, 7 or 8 here, so. deep again you saw the see that with the brakes i don't know if you saw that did you see the way that like locked up even though we're on default like locked and then went to the left i've noticed that since the update like the brakes seem to have like a weird lock up with default it was doing it on the um nations race as well at, in sardegna if you braked a bit too hard while like trail braking it would just like do a little it would like lock up and go to the right it wasn't doing that before the last update Let's go for another lap. We should, like I say, we should be able to get this into the 47, shouldn't we? McLaren is the um, is the best car for this, I think. This, I think the Lexus. I don't know how close the Lexus is, but the McLaren is the best car. I would think. He's gone BMW, haven't you, Matto? Oh, you've not picked Manu yet, have you not? All right. Okay. Yeah, I only did a couple of laps before we just went on. I literally did my first three or four laps just before I went live. So I'm, lear I'm learning literally now as well. Give it a little lift. Started to understeer a bit. Oh, stay away from there. Someone must have left the lobby there or something. It's got a lag spike. 
And again, just as I came out of the corner. Oh, you dickhead, you tried... <laughs> I tried to floor it. There were two attempts in the last sector because I messed the last sector up before. So there's definitely a 47.7 in it, isn't there? There's a 47.7 in that. I tried to floor it there to get the X because that's what that's the corners I messed up on the on the 48.0. So I knew if I get that right, there's a 47.7. Okay, we'll start qualifying in a minute. Anyway, let's just um, let's just check the lobby because it needs to be A plus an A. And it is. What what the hell? Is everyone feeling all right? What's going on here? Don't need to kick anyone. Absolute brilliant stuff. Right. Quali starting soon. Chat, there's no pit stop in this race, is there? Um, it is just, it is literally just the most boring race in the world, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's just a boring ass straight flat sprint race. I don't think there's any pit stop or anything needed. <laughs> Premium daily C. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Right, Jack, I'm going to go for a wee while we... Um, I'm going to go for a wee while and then we'll start this in a second. Lobby full of plebs. Yeah, one big pleb there, P3. One massive pleb there. By the way, chat, early like in there. How many likes are we up to so far? Um, 104. Let's see if we can get it close to 150 before we get to that one hour mark. Thank you to everyone who took the time to do that um, like button. It is a huge help to the channel. Helps me out. Helps us do this as a job. So I'm very, very grateful. I'm just going to go for a quick wee. And then we'll start the qualifying and see what the different cars are like in the race. It'll be interesting. I think McLaren's going to be pretty much impossible to overtake on that straight in fifth gear. But we'll see. Right, back in a second. Right. <laughs> oh, chat, do you know what I forgot to tell you? <laughs> I, before, um, I was making, obviously, the little one, um, making a dinner before, and we were having, in, like, while I was cooking it, um, while it was in the oven, we were having a little game of VR, and um, I was playing, you know, the mini golf game. That I'm obsessed with that mini golf game right now, chat. It's like I'm proper obsessed with it. It's so good, right? But there's this got there's this course, right? And it's on the um, it's in the it's in the cliffs. It's like it's like on the cliff edge, and it's like uh, all the holes are like literally dotted on rocks and stuff like that, right? Now I I didn't know, but I was literally stood there like that. About I think it was it was I can't remember what hole it was, but one of the holes where you start. <laughs> I shit myself. I honestly panicked. So I was stood there and I looked back and you were literally that far off a, a full on cliff edge with water down below. <laughs> the little one was like, what are you doing? Because I went and started panicking because I thought I was like going to fall off. It honestly played. I can't believe how much it tricked my brain. I was I shit myself like I nearly had a heart attack. I'm not messing because I thought I was going to fall off the edge or I, could, I couldn't. Like, my brain was not clicking with it as a game. Honestly, threw me everywhere. The little one was laughing her head off. She was in stitches because I, I panicked. I proper thought I was about to fall off the edge of a cliff. I couldn't even look back. 
Every time I looked at it, I was shaking. I started to shake near the edge. <laughs> I couldn't do it. <laughs> Proper shit myself. But yeah, it, it's such a good game though. But yeah, don't go near the edge of the cliff. Bloody hell. I proper crapped it. Right, let's get this started anyway. Right, let's um, let's start this. Let's go. Let's get this qualifying started. I'm gonna go plus one, I think. Proper. <laughs> Madison VR. It, is it free? <laughs> is it free, Pio? I know we've got the roller coaster game, the free roller coaster game. Don't know if you've tried that. The um, is it the SpongeBob one <laughs> with the um, T Rex when it chases you? <laughs> the little one was playing that. I don't think you really want to go to to the rear though because it's MR and hard tires. I mean. Probably can't. I'll try plus three, but we need to give ourselves a gap here, don't we? So what I'm going to do is just cruise through this section because we want a nice gap for the start of our lap. Richie's. But are, are these free? Are these free games on the PSVR two though, chap? I've I've only got the PSVR two. I can't do anything else. Like, it's got to be on the PSVR two. Yeah, I, I think plus three at most, Matthew. That's what I reckon. I'd, I've been using plus one and it felt good, but I think you might be right saying go a bit lower. I, I think plus five is way too much. That's why I wouldn't go plus five. You're on hard tyres. It will slide into some of the corners too much, I think, with plus five. So I'll try plus two. Right, make sure you queue up in an orderly fashion, people. No jump in the queue. Mate, and then you crashed into the wall. Seriously, man, come on. Yeah, but you don't go plus five with an MR car attacker. Like not not with a not with a McLaren. It doesn't it doesn't feel good. It's better on like plus two, plus three at most. Even with like any even on softs, I don't go five to the rear normally. Why am I that close to a car? What the hell? Is that the car that's just is that the car that's just wrecked his lap? I hope he hasn't just come out the pits in front of me. That car wasn't there, was it? Watch out the way, mate. You're not on the lap. Out the way. You've just re you've just come out the pits. Out the way, please. I don't want dirty air on my lap. Out the way. I'm gonna have to go for another lap after this, I think. This lap's awful, but we'll go again. We'll go again. Ooh, run wide, right. We'll have to go for another one here. So you're only gonna get two laps in in time in qualifying, aren't you? You're only gonna get the two in. This lap's way off. Oh, 
god! That was awful. All right, it was a forty eight zero. Not a great lap, but. Awful, awful, awful. Exactly. <laughs> That's that sums up my lap, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't a good lap, Pio, to be fair. It wasn't a good lap. We've, I would hope we're in the, well into the 47s tomorrow. Fingers crossed. With a bit of time trial practice, get ourselves into the low 47s in TT. We should be able to do mid-high, like 47.5s to 7s, hopefully tomorrow. That's what we're aiming for. Right. It is just a flat out race, isn't it? So I let everyone know the race is starting soon. Race starting soon. We'll say now. Why not? We don't need to write soon. I could have just wrote race starting to be fair. I don't know why I needed to write now. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, yeah, he was 0 0.001 ahead of your shadow. Your 4C should be pretty good here as well. I didn't think about the 4C. The 4C probably will be pretty decent. You don't need to make a pit, do you, chat? I'm pretty sure you don't. I'll check the settings, but I don't think there's a compulsory pit stop. Uh, no, there's no compulsory pit stop. There's no pit stop in this race, chat. It's just flat out. All right, let's get it started. Let's go. Yeah, I think McLaren's number one. Lexus is going to be up there behind the, the McLaren. Um, Mercedes should be okay. I don't know what the GTR would be like here. It used to be all right, but the BOP killed it, I think. I'll just go plus one for the race. I don't think I'd go plus two for, for the race. I think I'll just go plus one for the race. be very nice when you're behind someone with it on hard tyres. You'll get massive on the on the hard tyres through there I reckon.
Oh, that BMW looks a bit sketchy. I saw Max only drifting it through there then. Get any grip. That was, I don't know what I'm doing there. Shite, wasn't it? A little bit late on the break. Jeff, thank you so much for the gifted, you legend. Chat, spam that legend out there for Jeff, please. Appreciate the gifted membership, you legend. You know what to do, chat. Do your thing with that legend emote. Maxo's gone, Maxo's gone, that BMW's a nightmare. Get off the ground, the 
bloody sand or whatever it is. You get a penalty for that sand, do you? Okay, I didn't know that. Must have got dirty tyres there, so that's why you get a penalty. He'll get the slip here, but I think our car is quick enough. Be interesting how quick that Alpha is in the slip, though. Especially when I mess it up like that. That'll give him a run. <laughs> That'll give him a run now, definitely. Although, fifth gear on this should be able to... It should be enough, to be honest. Right, let's get back into that rhythm, get mid-48s. We should be doing mid-48s every lap. He got a bit of slip on that lap, didn't he? So he got a bit, he got the slipstream all the way on that straight, which obviously gave him the fastest lap. not get that right. I need to get into third gear earlier there. He'll have a run on us here. We'll go to the right and try and defend it. Too good in fifth gear. He won't like being this close through here, I can tell you that.
Needs to break a fraction earlier than what I'm doing for that corner. Oops, I hit the wall there. This is a very short race, isn't it? Yeah, he's got a pen there, so I'll drop him back off again. a good exit. That was more like the exit that we need. Yeah, you don't use sixth gear in this car, chat. Because look, what, you're not going to change into sixth gear as you're going uphill. You'd just lose massive speed if you did that. That's a line you need to get through there, nice and tight. Drift it out a bit more than that there, though. Sixth gear is slower, Blippi. I don't need to. I've already tried it, mate. In time trial, it's slower. McLaren sixth gear is not something you use unless you have to, mate. Pretty strong here, you know, in the race, I have to say. All right, Dan. having fun Max so <laughs> I'm guessing you're not going to pick the BMW then
shocking. Messed up that line massively. Most vanilla daily race basic well sorry vanilla GT World Series race you'll ever come across, isn't it? Right, get rid of the stupid mistakes. We know we can do mid low 48s, I think most laps. So this should, I mean, that's with mistakes. So we should be probably 18, under 18.10 is what we need to aim for, isn't it? I'd call it more like daily B. <laughs> more like a daily B. It's probably under 18, well, yeah, probably eight, under 18.10 is what I need to aim for, I reckon. I like vanilla ice cream, actually. I, that's one of my favorites. <laughs> it's one of my favorites, Jimmy. Nothing can't beat a good vanilla ice cream. Can't beat a good vanilla ice cream. Hard tire shadow. As soon as you like, if you get anywhere near, you can't. You get no grip on the hard tires when you're following because of the dirt. Yeah, <clears throat> but yeah, I think we have pace to do a bit quicker, and it's just a very um. It's a very, um, it's the most boring, it's not boring. I mean, what's the word? Bland, most bland GT World Series race I think we've ever had to do. Like short, times one, times one, hard tires. <laughs> yeah, Pio, <PO>, maybe. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sixth gear doesn't work. So if you go into sixth gear in the McLaren, it'll drop. So you, you'll just it'll fade massively. So don't use sixth gear if you if you unless you're in a slipstream. If you're in a slipstream, then yes, use sixth gear. But if you're not in a slipstream on this track, especially with the wind though, the wind speed is in your face a little bit on the actual race. So you, you're you're going into the wind, which will slow your car down on that straight, which should make the McLaren a little even stronger really, because it'll have a power like that power to push through it a bit. But you won't get anywhere near sixth gear. You won't be going near sixth. <laughs> yeah, deep forest reverse. To be honest, that's a track which will take me a while. Um, Blippy, I don't. I know you try to just cause arguments in the chat, mate, but it doesn't work, mate. I don't need to explain myself because it doesn't work. Just, just take my answer and, yeah, that's it. <laughs> If you want to use sixth gear, by all means, Blippi, you use sixth gear if you're in the McLaren and you lose yourself a tenth or two every lap. I don't care. It's not me driving. So by all means, you feel free to do it, Blippi. See you later, Sheen. Have a good one, mate. See you tomorrow. You right, Simon? How are you, mate?
Nah, yeah, yeah, Deep Forest is reversed, but I would have liked it the normal way. I'm better than the normal way. I'm not as good at the reverse layout. Nowhere near as good the reverse layout. Don't know why, but the reverse layout for me is the track that I struggle on. Oh, hello. We'll go back. <laughs> we'll reverse, reverse. Meow. Right, Jason. wide didn't get the throttle down yeah it's not a very good first sector but So far wide, what am I doing? We'll start another one in a minute just to get ourselves warmed up. Go again. Just one more practice lap, and then we'll we'll start. Cause that was awful. You right, Corey, mate? We'll just start the qualifying. Let's just see what the lobby's like. Make sure we got no Bs. Just make sure it's A. Sorry, um, EB driver. It's um, GT1 drivers only. You're not even in. You're not in. Um, you're not doing Group Three, so it's not worth your testing anyway. So apologies, apologies, but yes, it's GT1 test only. <laughs> I'm joking. <coughs> Max, so sticking with that M6 for another practice, <laughs> he's giving it another go. <coughs> no one would be in here then. <laughs> no one would be in it, man. <coughs> oh, did we get anywhere near 150 likes, by the way, chat? 155, chat. Let's see if we can get it up to 200 likes. Thank you to everyone who's already done that like. Appreciate you taking the time. Let's um, let's get another qualifying starting. Uh, quali starting soon. I don't think it shows that no one's interested in the race. I I'll guarantee you tomorrow will be stacked, you know, Rataka. <laughs> You'll be surprised. Because of Bathurst. Oh, yeah, it's your strong combo. Why don't you go Lexus then? 
Why would you not go the Lexus? Why, why, why not go the Lexus then, um, Iceman? You're right, Sam. The Lexus will be better here. It'll be good at Bathurst. It'll be good at Norse Life. I don't know. It'll probably be really good. I tell you what, the Lexus will probably be really good at Deep Forest as well, you know. You want to get... What about the... Um, what's the math division like? I know it got nerfed, but is it not competitive? Oh, it's hard tyres though, isn't it? Yeah, maybe the hard tyres will be a bitch on that car. Mercedes? What about the Merc? Not want to try the Merc out? No, um, Deep Forest is on soft and mediums, but the other races are on hard tyres. <clears throat> so, like, the, uh, the first, third, and fourth are on hard tyres, but the, the, the Deep Forest one is on soft and medium. That will be tricky at Bathurst. I mean, it'll be. I think the McLaren will be fast there, but trying to stay out of the wall for 30 odd laps is going to be um, interesting at Bathurst. Interesting. I'll probably bin it there. <laughs> You're right, Tom. Right, let's get this started anyway. Let's get a qualifying starting again. Are you picking a car, Maxo, or what about Supra? What about the Supra? Surely the Supra will still be all right here, and it will still be all right at Bathurst. It'll be really good at Norse Life, and it will probably be okay at um, Deep Forest Reverse as well. The Supra will be the Supra will probably be an all right shout, you know, as well. I reckon. I don't think it's a fluke at all, Rataka, because I guarantee you that Supra will still have, still have pace at Bathurst, like compared to other cars, it will still be all right, and it will still have pace at um, Norse Life. It will, it will still be quick. I, I, would, I wouldn't say it'll be shite, you know, that Supra. I think, I think it'll be better than what people think. <laughs> go McLaren. By all means, you can go McLaren. Right, let's get this started anyway. What's he got? What's he testing now? Oh, he's testing the Lexus out. Okay. Right, we're going to get this started anyway. Right, let's get this quali started. I'm going to laugh now if the Super wins the overall attacker. <laughs> Coming back at you. Right, chat, you've just heard that. If... If... If the Supra wins the overall, if the um, Toyota win overall, Rataka is quitting Gran Turismo 7. Everyone's got that. I screenshotted it. Make sure we don't jump people in the queue, by the way, chat. I know that some of you like doing it, but... This is a practice lobby, so hold your positions when it comes to starting your lap. Because I want I want a bit of a gap as well, because we're obviously going to get two laps in, so you need to create a gap in case people make mistakes. So don't be right up people's arse talking to you. <laughs> talking to you, Lambo. 
Um, it should be all right. On, I don't think I, it'll be all right. But I'm not very good at the reverse deep forest, but it should still be usable. There, it should be. It'll be good still. It'll be good on tires as well. That's the thing. Yeah, I know. I, I, it's something that annoys me when people jump here point quality. It pisses me off more. It's one of the things that pisses me off in sim racing more than fun. Like, I know that you technically can, but it's just a bit of etiquette with it. And too late. Not the wisest place to just stop your car, mate. Not the wisest place to stop the car there. I have to do another lap. Gran Turismo. Because <laughs> he was moving, probably the game didn't think he had crashed. Right, let's go for another lap. We're not even going to have a banker in here. Problem. We don't have a banker in. Oh, I've braked way too deep. Oh, and then I've cocked it up there. Okay, the first sector's massively off, but... See if we can up the rest of the lap up. Shit. Yeah, it's off massively off there. over the place. Can't get it in here. Might get a dirty air practice in this one. Why am I driving like an absolute donkey? I think we're like three, four tenths off. Uh, well, we're still purple though. Don't know how. Go purple because Max has done a 48 one, so this won't be anywhere near purple. <laughs> still, still only a 10 ball. <laughs> oh dear, that was not a very good lap, but <laughs> we've got to be in well into the 47s tomorrow, chat. We've got to be well into the 47. So yeah, <laughs> I think that your McLaren, are you going to go McLaren? <laughs> to, to be fair, Concert, I think this is going to get um, killed before the final, before the official season, you know. 
I think the 650 is going to get absolutely killed before the official season because, I mean, you just saw how bad that lap was. Like, <laughs> Max, you should see how OP this McLaren is. <laughs> if you watched my lap back, you'd be like, how did that even get what it should? If I if I do a vaguely good lap, surely we're 47, 6, 7, 47, 6 or 0. 7. We literally drifted half the lap. <laughs> I missed apexes. Didn't get on the throttle early. But this, this McLaren's good here. Really good. That's a good thing because even an average lap in quality should qualify us towards the front. So, yeah. Yeah, you never know. The, if they do some Group 4 races, I mean, even though the McLaren got BOP'd, it should still be decent in Group 4, I think. Will it be interesting what they do this official season? I really hope they do more races. I I want them, like, longer seasons back. You know when it was, like, 10 races in two seasons? I want that back and then give us some different combos. Group 4, Group 3, dynamic weather. Really mix it up and, you know, make it a longer season. None of this, like, 6-7 race crap. Make it better. Right, let's start this race anyway. Race starting. <laughs> 720 coming you imagine but as if come on this is gran turismo i've just did i not just start the race just starting that man <laughs> yeah Hey, they could add the 570 Group 4 car. There is a 570 Group 4 car, I think, isn't there? Like a GT4 car. That's what we should have on this game for GT4. Should be the 570. Right, let's see how difficult it is following. This is probably good practice, actually. I don't know. Can we overtake that? The Lexus has got really good acceleration, which will be... Might make it quite hard for the um, McLaren to get near it. It has. Look at the acceleration out of them. Rapid out of the corners, but we have got that fifth gear party trick. You have to give it a little lift just to get it to rotate in there. We go into sixth gear, maybe we'll see. My oh, my it'll fade. Look, it drops if we go sixth, even in a slipstream. It's even in a slip, it fades off a bit. <clears throat> oh, the understeer.
Oh. Hard tire, dirty air. Yeah. <laughs> Very difficult to follow on this track with these hard tires, you know. Really difficult. hard to follow and like get on the throttle when you're even in from this distance Lexus looks strong though I think the Lexus Lexus the three cars that are here are probably the three strongest cars Lexus McLaren and the Mercedes behind me probably the three strongest cars for this race What's the Ferrari like here as well? I don't know what the Ferrari's like. Paul should be decent as well, won't it? The Paul should be all right. Don't know why I didn't go into. I forgot to go to second gear. Can't get any closer to him. Lexus is definitely looking quick, but Max so is very quick at this track, so doesn't surprise me that we're struggling to stay with him. Although we should be going quicker than that. again it's very hard to get like really near to someone as soon as you do you just lose the front end so
trying to take a really t a slightly different lines than what he's doing to avoid picking up as much slip through the corners. going to drop in six. Ugh. Right, get ready for on the steer city. Have to lift a bit. No turning. No turning at all when we're following this close. Like all front end just disappears. do that as well. You'll probably get dirty tires. <laughs> Don't think we actually I think the tires are alright. And this race is going to be dull, I'm telling you now, tomorrow, because you just, you get close and you lose grip. The wind direction might help for, for overtaking on the straight, though. I think the wind direction might give you a bit of a help with the overtaking. Max up. in the chat for Maxo.
Oof. The Lexus does look a bit sketchy on the hard tyres, doesn't it? Oh, that might be a pen. I might have a pen there. <laughs> Got away with it. Streamer hacks. Shite, what am I doing there? Ugh, okay, I've messed up. This was looking like a good lap, but I've messed it up. I've completely messed up that sector. it again got in the gravel could have been a good lap that i reckon we can i reckon 47s are possible in the race with the mclaren maybe not tomorrow with the wind direction though maybe not with the wind direction in the race but i think 47s are definitely possible in clean air if you get a good lap in Pushed it too much. my gear shift. Did I just get a pen? Well, that was a close. <laughs> I just avoided the pen. That was very close. We nearly got them. I mean, that 
we nearly did it with no slipstream there. So yeah, you can definitely get 47s in the race with no slip. It will be possible. <laughs> I needed that pen. Should be an interesting one. I won't be in top split tomorrow as well, so... It's because of hard tyres, Iceman. Or Maxo. It's because you're on the hard tyres. As soon as you go back... So your Lexus will be very strong at Deep Forest, probably. Although it's not different... I think Deep Forest is not on the high-speed BOP, so actually... Don't know about Deep Forest. I think it's on mid-speed BOP at Deep Forest, so... Should still be good there. But, um... Uh, yeah, so I, I, it will still be good, the um, Lexus. I just don't know about... I think that one of the best rounds for the Lexus will be Norschleife, possibly. High-speed corners. That's at Bathurst. It was so good at that, that fifth and fourth and fifth gear corner. Makes me think the Lexus will be quite strong on um, Norschleife. I think it will be good there, but then so will the McLaren. The McLaren's surely going to be good there. It's it's a strange one, isn't it? As a as a, as a GT World Series race, um, well, I I, don't, I the thing at Nords is the only place you need the real top end is the um, the back the main straight, the long one. It'll be so quick through the fast corners. Other than that, though, I think it'll be pretty quick. I think it'll be pretty quick that that Lexus. <laughs> Corvette won't be as quick as what you think. It'll be good, but the Corvette won't be as quick as you think on that long straight, you know. The Corvette will die at about... A the Corvette dies, doesn't it, at about... I think it dies at about once... It, it definitely dies off in the final gearing at a certain point because it fades on the power. The straight's too long for it, I, I think. I'm pretty sure the Corvette will fade at the end of that long straight because it the revs will go too high and it'll just... It'll be like fading off. McLaren in a slipstream will be very strong on that long straight, but you need to be in the slip, otherwise sixth gear is shite in that car. It'll be um yeah. Supra will still be very strong at um Norse Life, I think. Supra's gonna be very strong there. Yeah, we don't know about rain though yet, do we, Shadow? We're not sure. We don't really know about that because you never know with PD. You just, I wouldn't rely on rain. It's PD, remember? Every time we think they're going to do rain, they never do it. So I wouldn't guarantee the rain for that one. AMG will be quick everywhere. Mercedes should be quick everywhere. It should be quick. Mercedes should be very good on, on Deep Forest, I think. It, prob it possibly might be one of the better cars on Deep Forest reverse. But it'll be very quick um, everywhere. I think Mercedes, Mercedes, McLaren are probably the two. Mo like every combo, they're going to be good. I'd say they're going to be good on all all the combos. Like Lexus, I'm not too sure about the the mid BOP, but it, it'll still be all right. Yeah, but it got nerfed as well, though, didn't it? Um, James, it did get nerfed the Supra, so it didn't really get buffed because it still got nerfed. I think the Supra. Again, I think the Supra's now had the Supra's probably had the most nerfs in terms of like performance out of any car in GT GT history. <laughs> imagine a race right now. Imagine a race between this BOP Supra now versus 14, 15 months ago Supra. <laughs> yeah, you do. It'd be embarrassing. Like the, the, it'd be gone into the distance. It wouldn't even be the same. Like you wouldn't even be able to get anywhere near it. You'd be like, it'd be just whoosh, flying. Yeah, it'd be way off pace, massively. <laughs> it's not really much practice to do for this race, is it? It's just time trial, and I think we've got. I think we've got the hang of it now. The hard tires feel pretty good on the McLaren. They feel pretty good. 
I drive this Supra. What's he writ there? <laughs> yeah, P.O. Yeah, I'm sure you would. You drive with the with the new BOP versus the old one. You'd still win it. Um, what do we do, chat? What do we do for a little? Too late to do. I might set a time on um. I haven't done daily B time trial yet. Should we do a, a, a little bit of time trial for daily B and maybe... Or maybe try and improve my daily C time trial on my second account. I haven't I haven't really tried to boot, like beat it yet. Maybe I should do some TT. Some time trial for, um, for that. Because this race is self-explanatory. You literally... There's nothing to learn about it, is there? Best cars for this race. McLaren... Uh, Mercedes. I, I like um, Consta said there will be M Porsche will be good here. Porsche will be good on the hard tires. Um, it won't be as good in the straight, but it will still be. Um, it will still be good that Porsche. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Lexus will be reasonably quick here. Um, don't know what the. Um, don't know what the Vantage will be like here in group. Like the, I don't know. I, I don't think it'll have massive speed on the straights, but it should be all right in the corners. Uh, what else? Ferrari, I'd be interested. Probably best looking at the um, the time trial. Let's have a little look. Right, so thank you for joining that lobby. Anyone who's in there, there. Let's um, let's come out and have a little look at the um, time trial. Basically, if it's good in time trial, it's good in the race, chat, because <laughs> it's literally the race and the time trial. The only difference is basically fuel. That's the only difference. Um... We'll have a little... Yeah, I, I would think the Vantage... I thought the Vantage should be pretty good. It, it The track kind of like... I would think it would it'd just lose a bit on that back of the straight, but it should be pretty good in the middle sector, that Vantage. Let's have a little look at the time trial and see what cars are looking good and what are... Um, all I know is that McLaren's looking very good. <laughs> McLaren's looking really good. Really, really, really good. Um, Which is good because I, I don't... I'll be in split too, so... Should be able to get a good start tomorrow. If we get a good qualifying in, I think we'll be able to. If we hold, you know, avoid the penalties, should be able to get a decent um, points tomorrow. All right, let's have a little look at. Why am I doing that? That's the wrong one. Um, let's have a little look at the leaderboards and see. So you've got um, obviously McLaren's at the top. The Aldi's up there, isn't it? The Aldi's up there. Um, phew. R8 looks good. Porsche. Porsche and R8 look good. I did say, yeah, the Porsche, that's no surprise. The Audi's going to be quick. If you can cope with it, it'll be a bit sketchy, probably. Um, RCZ looks quick. Ferrari's up there. Ferrari's in P10, so Ferrari's quick. Uh, Vantage is up there, like he said before. Mercedes is there. Vision's there. I mean, that is pull up. That's pole, though. It, yeah, the, that's because it's pole, but it's uh, it's up there, though. Um, Lambo is up there. Suzuki's up there. Uh, Be <laughs> the Beatles up there. But I think that's just that's just medi things. Um, Ford is not far off. A lot of lot of MR cars up here, and obviously because it's hard tires, the MR cars will be pretty quick. Um, that Supra is not too far off. Forty seven point four. Supra won't be a bad shout, you know, I think, because the Supra will be impossible to overtake. Um, even the Genesis isn't that far off, even though it's been killed. Not that far off, is it? Um, Viper. <laughs> Constant's gone the Viper. <laughs> I didn't know he actually picked it. I thought he was joking when he said he was going to pick that. He actually picked it. Hang on a minute. What the hell's going on here? Wait there. Have I... I swear I've just seen the beetle. What? 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 Wait there. What's going on here? Why Why is he done? <laughs> why is... Why has Mehdi used the beetle twice in time trial? Are you going on holiday tomorrow? Anyway, ah, no worries then. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Wait there. Mikhail Dowd's on his alternative account as well. He's gone on his alternative going Subaru. <laughs> Wait 
made there? Is everyone just doing like alternative account laps to see what, what they like and stuff? Because I feel like people are just sticking around with this at the moment. Right, let's um let's go and do some let's see what this time trial. We need to improve. I'll find it hard to beat this lap because when I'm live, I struggle on time trial. Let's have a little look. What are we aim we're aiming for 47s, aren't we? Uh I'm on the wrong account. Right, let's come out of there. Let's let's go on to the other account and do a bit of time trial. Yeah, he picked Mitsubishi, but that was his other account, Rataka. That's his um that's his Turk Turkey account, which he's gone with Subaru. Whether he'll be doing which one he'll be using, I don't know. I have no idea. Uh let me go that one. Who knows what he's doing? Who knows? Um, let's check. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's definitely going Evo. Okay. So, wait there, Shadow. They wiped the leaderboard for the manufacturer's time trial that means nothing. But they didn't wipe the daily race leaderboard, which actually means something. How bizarre is that? <laughs> yeah. Surely they should have wiped all the leaderboards for time trial for um, daily races as well then. Some of, the, some of the things PD do, do baffle me. Oh, was it the wall penalties? Oh, okay. That'll be why. That so that was because of the wall penalties, probably. Um, right. Let's have a little look. We're we're P fifty. It's not too bad. We need to get this lap faster though. Let's let's watch. I want to see what he's doing with the gears. I, I want to just check out the gearing that he's doing and where he's changing gear just to see if if he's gaining anything. Is this that fourth that fourth gear shift? In that um, second left mode, puts me off massively, but I need to get it figured out. People are revving this car out so much more now. I don't like I said this. Definitely not as it's definitely not a short shifter as much with the lack of power now. Need to rev it more. All right, that's yeah, that's exactly the same. So he's revving it out. Revving it out. Revving it out. Yeah, it's not... It, it's it's possibly the most bland GT World Series race I've ever seen from us. Yeah, if we do that, we rev out the fifth gear there. That's exactly the same. Oh, he's... Okay, use his second into third. Okay. It's because you're on hard tyres, Rataka, as well. Why the dirty airs like that? Like... Um, we, it was the same at, um, what the, what have I just witnessed there? Wait there. What the hell is the gear in here? What's this gear in? Look, the, uh, this is one thing about this game that I kind of don't like. Watch how, watch what he does with the gears here. I, I don't like that. I really don't like that about this game, you know. From fourth, down to second, then back up to fourth, and... I wish they'd fix that, you know. That's one thing I wish they'd fix on this game. Yeah, well, yeah, but that's because this track, though, attack, it's not high speed, high speed, is it? It's not as high speed in the corners. And also, Grand Valley's got some traction zones, which, again... When you're in the slip, you lose a bit of traction when you follow him. It's just, it's that first sector at Grand Valley, which is really difficult. So he drives it pretty much how I was driving it. It's not that much. The only difference is that um, second Lesmo with them shifts, second to fourth, which is probably for, it's obviously for rotation. I know why he does it. Um, he he's revving out fifth to sixth. Um, he is, he is revving out quite a bit. I mean, we just watched him do it. He literally just revved the tits out of fifth gear a couple of times. Uh, um. Ah, right. Let's uh, 
Go back. Oh, Go into the time trial. Before I do it, I'm going to clean my car. Paranoia sets in. I'm going to give it a wash. Uh... Yeah, fourth in fourth in um, parabolica. That's that's normal, isn't it? I think is that that's not what is that not what we do? Two times for a cleaner car. Yep. It's got to look good for the replay. I always do this as well. I don't think it doesn't do anything, but do it more. Right, look how shiny that is now. That's ready. With that livery on, it's ready. <clears throat> Let's go and get a better lap in. We should be able to get... A f I, I want to get within half a second of that, so f at least a 0.7. It's just... The problem here is, for me, is taking the risk on the chicane. I'm I'm too much of a shitbag when it comes to the chicane. Like, so much of it is just getting... Uh, it's RNG. You literally got to get a bit of luck. Didn't load the ghost. You, the rented guy doesn't make any difference. It, it doesn't make any difference. I don't think it does. Jack thinks it. Jack used to think that, didn't he? Jack used to think rented cars were faster. I don't think there's any difference with that. Not, not the best start. I don't know if that's dirty tyres. Could be dirty tyres straight away. I've got. It'll take me about 15 minutes, by the way, just to bed into the drag. Always does. Got to get my braking zones again. I think. I think I've got dirty tyres though. There is people that believe it, like, there is people that actually think the rented cars are faster, but I don't think they are. Um, I think it makes a difference. The thing is, though, P1 is always with a livery on it, so I think it's a load of shit. <laughs> Big player. Too slow, but we'll carry it on just to get warmed up. Gotta take more curb. Need to take more curb than that. change gear here, whatever you do. Ah, run wide. Too bad for a warm up lap, not too bad. It's a better exit.
Ay, Tonje. Absolute donkey. So annoyed at that bloody exit off that chicane. Gear a bit too much there. I've tested fifth and sixth on that back straight. Fifth is better. For me, the way I exit the corner, I'm better in fifth. No. Tenth down. We're on a point one already, though. This, you got to get over that curb earlier, and then I've got a penalty there, but... Got to really nail that chicane to get a good lap. And if you don't nail the second chicane, your lap's over. Can I get a snack, please? Yep. Is Mummy not home? No. Oh, she's... Yeah, she's... She finished at home. She's on the bus. We'll be home in a minute. Yeah, you can get that. Make sure the keys aren't in the front door, by. Oh, best start that lap again. Yeah, it, you've got you've got to send it on the chicane, the second chicane though. You have to send it. If you don't send it, then I don't think that's the best way to get the exit, but. I forgot, I should have rev maybe revved it out a bit more in third. Let's just see. It's not really caught us much, has it? It's not really made any difference. Got it. I think I got that right there. I mean wasn't perfect but I'm not gonna match P1s but it was, it was all right that I think that's a penalty I think it's about ran wide there as well not a pen but I think maybe I should do it my way. I think I'm trying to imitate other drivers that are just used to doing that. If I do third to fourth, I think I'll be quicker there. I think that's ruining my lap trying to do that. I oh, know, you donkey. Don't know if that's dirty. Probably dirty tyres. I would. We'll see. I might need to start the lap again because might have dirty lap tyres. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You can feel it. Oh yeah. Okay. Well. Oh. Just need to get that chicane right, and I think getting the exit of the second Lesma right will be could be a 47 already. 
Just I think the sec with the second Lesmo, do third to fourth, not down to second. For me, it, it just doesn't. I don't like doing that. That might be better than the previous exit. I don't know. Didn't get the power down as quick, but. it up again but we'll carry on I can see why they do do the second gear though you know it's the rotation isn't it you see how that didn't rotate anywhere near as much might have to get used to doing it Yeah, the strategy on that. No, Epic. There's no point carrying on a shit lap. It's a waste of time. There's no real difference between first and second lap. It's time trial, so tyre temperatures aren't really a thing when you're in these. I've messed that up. No. I mean, surely we can definitely do half a second quicker than that. Surely. Come on. I think that's a pem. It's got dirty tires, so surely it's a pem. That's weird. I thought I mean it's way off though. I'm not I'm not losing that much before the first sector. Break as late as we can. No. Ah. Uh, didn't get that right at all, but we'll carry on. My time's shit at the moment. 48 0 is not good enough. We should be way quicker than that. Better if it's not a pen. That's how we need to do the chicane chat. It's uh, dropping off. It drops off a bit there on that second Lesmo again. Lost too much. you brick I mean our exit was good there it's just you, you're looking at um, that honestly squids mate his exits on the first the chicanes are not that I'm struggling it's just that he's nailing them like he's just so quick on them exits of the two chicanes it's like it's incredible the grip he gets out of the first and second chicane it's abnormal to be honest I don't know how he does it but not that we're struggling there, it's just that he's very, very quick on them corners. You you can change brake bias based on sectors, yeah? Wouldn't, wouldn't be an issue, but I kind of like plus three everywhere. All right, get it over that curb. Floor it. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. Right, come on, nail this chicane now.
Oh, don't be a penalty. Don't be a penalty. Oh, this is good so far, chat. This is good so far. Lost a bit there, but it's still a good lap so far. Scary right, I've drifted it. I drifted it, you donkey. Oh. That's lost me a tenth or more at least, but maybe two tenths. Ah. Last sex wasn't good enough either, I don't think, for a 47. Uh, it's crept to 47. <laughs> it crept to 47, chat, but messed that lap up. <laughs> That's a penalty. Penalty. There you go. It's progress, but annoyingly, if we would have got the last two sectors, right? If we would have got a scar in the final corner, right? That was two temps we lost there, so we would have been on a 0.7. And he, maybe even a 0.6 was possible on that. It was possible to get a 0.6 with that. Where does it put us anyway? Uh, puts us 35th, which is... 35th is not too bad, is it? It's not too bad, 35th, but we can definitely go quicker. Um, the main thing is, chap, we're ahead of this little donkey. That's all I care about. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think there was a 0.6 on that then. But the annoying thing is, I don't think I'll nail them two corners like I just did. The, the two chicanes, I nailed the two chicanes, which I don't think I'll do again. But we'll carry on. <laughs> I'm already joking. I'm <laughs> freaking. <laughs> It was shit, though. You could see the last two sectors where we lost over two temps. Like, the, the Ascari drifted, and that loses you a temp before, at least a temp before the braking zone. Break too early. Look at that there. See, the wheel spin. Temp gone already, just because of the wheel spin. Before, I got the power exactly how you need to get it down, and now I've lost probably a temp and a half already by the first sector. Won't go into the um, gears like I, I want it to. It's not letting me double shift sometimes. wanted to try something because I'm so far behind I just wanted to test that didn't work out we'll, we'll just carry the lap on and go again traction off always traction off he so he uses so much of the curb there which I'm not doing yet like he's he's off on that curb massively I need to be more aggressive on the curb uh, we've not done any daily races, route. We're not doing dailies. We're just time trialing now. I've just done some GT World Series practice. I'm not doing dailies now. I'm just doing a bit of TT so that we're in a better position to do dailies if we have to. Again, maybe I should rev further. I don't know. Right, let's stay right. It's not a good lap, so we'll stay to the left here. Kimmy's done a lap for daily beat. Oh, dear. Nah, again, the wheel spin. Too much wheel spin. Over rev fourth gear there as well. Not too much revs in.
Break too early. Yeah, that wasn't very good. be on the leaderboard anymore. Oh, not on this one, I won't. <laughs> I've just beat the time, but it's not quick enough for top 10, so we've knocked that off, unfortunately. Let's just try that third gear. I think tight and then third gear. Maybe four pits better because of the the gear change seems to lose you a lot of pace there, you know. I think fourth early is the correct way. Oh no 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 you went in the gravel. Funky. I had a good line then as well. Got the rotation right. Just widen this line in so we can. I actually think that's slower what I've just done there. I think I've just cocked that. To see so. be so violent with your steering wheel inputs there you know chat you've, you've got to literally flick it so quickly to the left to get the rotation it up on the, that one. That's not good. No. Ah. Way too far off. It wasn't bad up to there. It was actually an alright lap up to that point. Try and get over this curb a bit more. the exit I should have got before. If I would have got that exit before on that lap where we did the 47.9, I think that would have been a tenth gained or straight away. Shame that I messed the other lap, this lap up on the second leg, man. You know, there's no point going to the right because it's, it's not quick enough. Seven, really. If I get a point seven, I'm happy, but I'm not going to push it too much because of the arms. Like I woke up this morning with some severe pain in my fingers and my arm. Not good at all. Just, just after the 150. Are oh, you? I know what to do for that. I know how to do that now. I'm pretty sure I can get that right. I know what I've got to do. 
If I get that right, I think we can beat what we did before. Ah, thank you, Fruit Slice. Appreciate it, mate. Too much. I hit the curb too much. Way too much. If I get it right though, it should be flying. Okay, I keep pushing. Now time to get that A now, fruit slice. Hopefully you can get that A next. Penalty. It's a penalty anyway. I took way too much off it. We're going to struggle to get this bloody point seven. I I put my foot down in first gear and I shouldn't have done. Messed it up. Get off the grass. What a donkey. Not even worth carrying on. <laughs> I always you've always got to push the limits on um on time trial. If you if you're not making mistakes on time trial, you're not gonna get a fast lapping. Pretty simple. Time trial's there to be going over the limit and trying to figure out where you can push more than what you normally would because like I say, if you're driving your time trials like you drive your races, then you, you won't be going anywhere near quick enough. You need to be going beyond what you'd normally do. It's the only way you're going to improve your lap. Again, didn't get the traction off of that corner. I think I went wide onto the gravel a bit there. Not again. Ah. Uh, it's about, I think we're literally two temps behind what we were before. So I'd have to absolutely nail this just to match it, I think. I've hit the curb way too hard. I got lucky that I managed to get the exit right, but yeah, I lost too much there. Uh, I think it's probably a 48-0, I reckon. Nah, it's a point, it's a Another point nine, but got to change gear there on the straight. Another 47, but not quick enough. Too many mistakes on that one. Ah. Again, not the exit. The exit to the first, the first chicane is so difficult.
That's a penalty. <laughs> That's definitely a penalty because I, I went right over it, but I thought so. In the middle sector. Uh, one minute. I won't share. I'd have to. I'd have to come out. I think. I think I'd have to come out to show the, the sector times. So yeah, it was um not very right, not great. The um it's in, it's that it's that Lesmo corner. The third sec the second sector is where I'm losing most of it. And also Ascari, I went too deep. I had to get off the throttle, so we lost a little bit in Ascari as well. So yeah, need to gain more in the first sector as well. Where the what? What do you mean? Oh, you mean leave the sectors on like that when we're driving? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we can do it. I thought you wanted to see that, that lap. Let me just check my brake biases on, though. That's good. That's that's it, I think, there. As good as I'm gonna get it probably. onto that bloody Astro. No, no, you! Fucking car. You didn't blippy, but yeah. <laughs> Was that a 47.8 in the in group one car? <laughs> that could have been that could have been a point eight, I reckon. It was quick enough for a point eight, but I'm trying to take that curb like he does it and I, I don't think I can do it like that it seems to unsettle the car too much for me that's way too much curb He's getting the throttle perfect squids. He's literally nailing the throttle. See, I'm getting too much wheel spin there. That's going to lose me all the way to the... To the first sector split, it just loses your time all the way. No, I didn't. I turned in too late. Turned in, turned in way too late. Yeah, his, his chicane is nearly perfect, Squids. 
it's probably as close to perfect as you're going to get for the first two games. rotated on me but I did get a decent exit get off that you donkey didn't double shift on me. I was trying to double shift it, didn't do it. The only thing with, with the magnetic shifter, sometimes you try and double shift and it won't let you. Won't let you. See that curb, it's too aggressive for me to hit. I don't like doing, oh I've just, yeah I've just cut that. <laughs> That's a Bentley. I'll just carry it on just to see something because if I get that right, Time to be gained there. Just wanna try something into that. I'll tell you what, that might work. Using second gear for rotation, sending it in. That might actually work. Send it in, use second for rotation. Well, considering how bad the lap was, that, that might actually be worth trying that. Yes, <laughs> yeah. To be fair, man, whenever I chase these top times, I just feel shit. Like, but there's, it's just everyone's. There's, you're always going to be a lot slower than someone. It's, it's the way it is. Like, I'm not at the level that these are at. If I can get within, like I said, if I can get within half a second this lap, I'm happy. Like, if I get 47.7, that'll probably do me. I should, be, I should have had it on the lap that we did before. It should have been a 0.7 or maybe a 0.6, really. That's it. That's the one. That's what we got to do there. So we've been, we've been doing point fives normally. Let's see what this is. Oh, if that's not a pen, that's perfect. Then I've cocked that up. Felt all right. Not per like a few mistakes, but I think it's pretty much level with what we was before. No, I've done it again. I've drifted. I drifted. <laughs> no, I've drifted it. I've literally just done the exact same mistake again. I've ran wide as well. I've cocked it. I've absolutely cocked this. I'm annoyed at myself because that had potential. That's faster. That is faster with that lap. No. <laughs> no. I don't believe it. I can't believe that that lap is faster, chap. Cannot believe how shit that lap was as well. Imagine I'd have got the last sector right. Ah. <laughs> Ah, 
I completely, this corner, I lost two tenths on this corner alone. Gotta get so lucky on the two chicanes, that's the thing. Too late on the brakes. Got that again. Yeah, you have to get on the curb more, but it's it's uh, I mean I have done it good without taking too much curb. It's it's a lot of it's just getting the line onto the curb before before they exit that curb not getting it to go on settled. If you can get that grip there, which you can do, that's where you get the exit speed. The traction again, chap. Traction issue. That's a temp slower, I think. Got to get that grip when you put the pile down. Didn't get that right either. I've been using seconds, Andy. I've been using it, mate. Yeah, that's not gonna. Not gonna do it, is it? Best manufacturer for tomorrow. What about you? Mean like for the whole, all the races? You mean, Mister? Pick a manufacturer that depends what your levels are. I've got to be honest with you, chat. It all depends what rank you're at. If you're like in GT, remember, chat. What this is one thing we need to remember about the manufacturers you're picking. If you're in GT2, you're doing different races. You're in Group Four. Um, yeah, you're in you're in um, GT4, so you need to remember like Group Four rather than Group Three in some of the races. So you need to remember that it depends what group you're in. Yeah, so I don't really know for Group Four. Um, I mean, surely McLaren would still be a good car for all of them. I would think McLaren's a good bet even in, G in like in the the lower ranks because in Group Four it's still a good car. So yeah, I'd, pro I'd probably go with McLaren if I was. It's easy to drive in Group Three and Group Four. Oh, too much speed. No, didn't get on the throttle early enough. Yeah, that's a point six. this first sector. It's way off. It's way off. And not me. Surely, surely that's a pen. Has to be a pen, that, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you're right with that second gear. Look how much closer we are there. I think you're right with that. It'd probably even better if it went from second to third rather than second to fourth as well. I think second to third on the first left most will be quicker. I think you're correct there. I think that will gain me a little bit. knocked the um sorry i knocked the um i didn't see that i knocked the radar <laughs> i must have knocked it before uh, i got on the curb i hit the curb Just too much power on the curb was it was looking good for the exit then as well I had the car squared up almost perfect. What a donkey. The 
the joys of Monza time trial where you literally just keep pushing until you get a lucky chicane. This is, how you, this is the only way you do it, chat. You literally just keep going until you get the chicane right. You mess the chicane up, you go back and start again. That's where I have to say, chat, other games are better for Monza. Like on, as far as I know, on iRacing and ACC, you can't take, you can't go over the curb anywhere near as aggressive as you can on this game. And it makes it less, it's more about taking just a normal line through there and getting the traction. Uh, too slow. It's annoying though, Hansi. We, on our, one of our first laps, we're literally good enough for a, a 0.6. I just completely balls up the Ascari and, and the corner of the like, second Lesmo. But it would have been good enough probably for a point six if we'd have just done it normal. You're right, Renato. How are you, mate? We've been on a few laps that probably club would be good enough for a point six. get that real pull out of the corner but we'll carry it on I hate all this double shifting shit. <laughs> I hate it. But you gotta do it. It's it's faster to do that double shifting. Come on. Good exit up here. Let's just get a point seven. Point seven, here we come. Again, I got too much rotation. good as the one before but not bad <laughs> I'm gonna get pissed off with this not doing much more now for me right arm starting to hurt so if we don't get it in the next 10 minutes that that's us done um i don't want to give myself any pains on my arm before tomorrow night so i need to make sure i'm doing that one it's so annoying because like it's it's right at the start of the lap i mean to be fair Probably better that it's at the start of that than at the end, because imagine that chicane was at the end. Mm. 
didn't get it. You can see the difference. It didn't get the power down. You can instantly see the, the ghost. You can just see the difference when you get the when you get the traction right to when you get it not quite right. Tenth just instantly just goes. Might as well just send it through here and see what happens. No, lost it there as well. Balls. Massive balls. Too much. Two temp so three temps off there, because the, the the middle sector's two temps off. And the oh, why did I go into sixth gear? Doesn't matter. Yeah, we doesn't really matter this lap. Because you can see the third the first sector's nearly two temps off, so we're we're yes. 48.5 probably. 9.2 it was more off than that. I mean, I'm looking at the sectors which we should be getting, so I, I know there's a, a 0.6 or 7 in this if we just hook a normal lap up. Too deep. Bogged down again. I'm not even I'm not even carrying that lap on. <laughs> we'll start that again. You right, Michael? Yeah, Greasy knows that. We're not, he's just winding us up, I think, with us TC. You don't want to put TC on five. Filling in for PO while PO's asleep, yeah. Again, too slow on that throttle. It's only like a fraction too slow on the throttle, but it just loses you. You can just see the ghost pulling away and it, it just makes me not want to bother carrying on the lap. Because I know if I'm two tenths down in this first sector, you might as well just bail it. I'm over two temps down. Love that. I'm not even carrying that on. Need to be a 0.5. A low 0.5 or a 0.4 in that first sector. It's got to be that. Otherwise, it's not worth carrying it on. Pio is dreaming about Tiffa. Again, it's so annoying. Like you can literally see it pull away. That's just a yo-yo effect, Paul. That's just a yo-yo effect you're seeing there. You always look like you're catching people. We're way, we're way too far off there, anyway. <laughs> Sorry, our best, yes.
Got the better traction, because you can see he doesn't pull away there, so that's the better traction. But it's not as quick as we were. It's only a, a 0 0.55, like, yeah. Mid 0.5. I did it, I took too much off. I've penaltyed it. Getting greedy on the um, track limits. Come on. Let's get this. I just got to nail it. We're going to nail it, chat. <laughs> That's it. Funny, I hit the curb funny. No, you big donkey. Again, you can see I've lost too much there. Lost too much. Ran over that as well. <laughs> That's two free temps gone. No, the ghost is a help, mate. It's not a distraction. It's a help. Massive help to me. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to go as quick without the ghost. Well, I would eventually, but it's much easier to have the ghost as a reference. Much easier. Much much easier. Too slow, too slow. That's number one in the world, that ghost. That's not my ghost. That's the um, top time. That's what we're chasing. Oh, that doesn't bother me, that. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. Um, I think it doesn't bother me at all. We've got it. It resets every sector, so it resets in front again anyway. We're never going to get too close to it. shite but because I just kept it my foot flat down it actually gathered traction once it <laughs> it kind of didn't lose too much it would have been better if I would have got good traction but Running wide there, that just loses you two temps straight away. Yeah, it's too slow through there. Just saw the delta, way too slow. It's that curb again, it's that curb. 
I'm trying to keep it floored through the Ascari, which you've got to do to get the exit. goes chat and then that's me done i'll just have to take the lap we've done for now Don't be a penalty, don't be a penalty. It's not perfect, but I think we're up on it. I think we're slightly off. Come on, last corner. Come on. Shit out, I messed it up a bit there, but though it might be an improvement. <laughs> Shit. It, it, ah! I messed it up on the final corner. Ah! <laughs> Stupid bloody lap. It's pissing me off. <laughs> it's, it's pissing me off, chat. It's really annoying me. Should have been faster, that. That last corner again. I think I just... I was too much of a shitbag on the last corner. Like, it was on for a point six or seven, that. And I just... You see how I braked into that last corner? I was too scared. Like, you've got to be way more aggressive than that into the final corner. And get the rotation on the throttle. We lost at least a tenth on that last corner alone. It puts us 29th. I mean... It's not the worst lap ever. How the hell is PG Motorsport on a... I'm not fucking having that. I'm going again. <laughs> I'm not having that. <laughs> I'm going again. Is that that is that PG as in dodgy one or is that a different one? I don't know which one that is. Is that the same one as we're like used to, chat? Is that the dodgy one? I don't know if it's the same one. There's two different ones. Which is the one that takes people out on purpose? No. See that ghost pull away there. Oh, there we go. No, we can't do it too long. I'll just give it another couple of minutes. <laughs> another couple of goes. I don't know if that's a PG Motorsport I'm thinking of. I don't know. There used to be one on GT Sport that was proper dirty. Like, it just ran you out of the way. You're right, Demetrius. How are you, mate?
Oh, that is him, is it? Okay, I've just copped that up there, didn't I? What I'm going to do is just going to send it. <laughs> if I'm, be I'm behind there, I might as well just send it here and see what happens. It's a penalty, isn't it? Uh, I thought I'd go for it. You never know. It is him, is it? Okay, yeah. So, yeah, his DR won't be in our lobbies anyway, thankfully. No, this isn't GT World Series. This is Daily Race C. We're just... We've done we've done GT World Series practice. We've, it's pretty... It's not the hardest race to work out, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, we're just doing a bit of time trial on this. A break too late. Couldn't get on the throttle early there, but it's kind of like a half an average first sector, isn't it? Just a little bit slow on the throttle. Donkey. <laughs> uh, I need that point four in the first. Point four first. Point one on the um, thingy, and then there's a flat on the last, and then we'll be on a point six, I think, or point seven. Uh, you got the platinum, nice. Yeah, I haven't bothered to try and get that. I mean, I only, I think I only need to do a few things to get it. Like, take photos or, I don't know, some random shit that I need to do. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know, though, Madden. It'd be... The only other thing is, if you rated the races in the lobbies, like if they had a rating system, so PD could see how you rate them, you'd be surprised how many casual players would rate races like four laps or three laps, like on Daily B, like shorter races, high. You'd be very surprised how, like, that. I just wish there was just a Daily Race. All they need to do is add a new Daily Race. One more, Daily Race D. Every three to, like, even if it's every three hours. Just give the hardcore people a little bit of, you know, something else to do. I think that's all they need to do, really. I've break too late there. Bye-bye, ghost. You can see again. Too slow. You're right, Brian, mate. My elbow's getting a bit sore now. This is, this is the only thing about doing time trial for your chat. It, it doesn't do it any good on the algorithm. People don't really like watching time trial, but oh well. I, I'm just doing this because I should be. I should have finished by now and given me armor rest, but I'm, I want the point six or point seven, so. I like two races a week. I prefer that, in all honesty. I prefer that. Yeah. Again, I'm seeing pull away because I didn't get the throttle right. Some people do, but in general, people don't really like time trial. <laughs> I wish that wasn't a penalty. <laughs> I wish that wasn't a penalty. Uh, do you know, I was, I was watching some iRacing today, chat. 
I, I'm not sure about this rain. Like, it looks, obviously, it's good on iRacing. I just think they've gone a bit OTT with it. Like, it looked almost impossible for people to drive it. They were, everyone was just crashing and spinning, and I don't know, but I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I think, I think the problem what iRacing have done is they've gone too aggressive with it straight away. I feel like they should have gone like light rain, medium rain. They seem to have gone like heavy rain straight away, and um, it just looks too much to me. It looks way too much. And the spray, I feel like the lights need to be a lot, a lot more bright in the spray because you literally can't see the cars in front of you. Like there, there's, there's no visibility on the cars in front of you at all. You should be able to see the brake lights or something, or the the um, the rain light. I'd, I'd like to see like the rain light or something just looks a bit too much in my view It'd probably be better in VR because you'd have more references to around you, but on a single monitor. It looks like a nightmare I would like the physics are better than Gran Turismo. That's that's obvious SCS. We're not arguing that but the spray is too much with like the visibility you you need to have, like, um, a rain light that's visible or something. Also, the heavy rains, I think it's too slippery. I think they need to... I wouldn't even use... The heavy rain looks like it should be a red flag. That's that's what I think. Um, what I've seen, the, the, the heavy rain looks like it should be a red, red flag. Um, the medium rain, obviously, is probably all right. But the heavy rain doesn't look like it should be, like, racing in it. <laughs> And they're, they're starting off the week with some of them type races. And I think maybe you should ease people in a bit more than that. Exactly, that's what I mean. That, that it wouldn't be allowed to carry on with the rain that I'm seeing in that. Is the rain random? I don't really know. I, I, there is proper dynamic rain on it. Yeah, it's proper dynamic if you want it, if they set it up to be that. It just depends how they set it up. It can be based off real life rain, I think. I'm pretty sure it can be based off the real, like, real racing. No, that's way too slow. Are you right, Aura, mate? How are you? <sighs> oh, I, I, I get that, you're, that you can race in rain, but the problem is, so I race in heavy rain, look, wait. I was watching it today in top split and everyone was just binning it. Like, there was just bins after bins, people running off, and it didn't look how are they, like, it didn't look very drivable, let's just say that. No, we're talking about iRacing, Aura. Talking about iRacing. I'm sure, yeah, the, 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 the medium and light rain look quite good. I think the medium and light rain look quite, um, they look all right. It's the heavy rain that I think is a bit too much. I don't think you, like in real life, you wouldn't be racing in it. They're red flag yet. I mean, in all honesty, I find the racing rain fine to drive in as long as you've got a good setup. Sorry, not iRacing, ACC. ACC's rain is pretty drivable. iRacing's light and medium is fine. That's not a problem. From what I've seen, the light and medium rain doesn't seem that difficult. It's the heavy rain. Every, everyone's struggling on it. I've not seen anyone really driving it well yet. It's a penalty. Uh... Yeah, the dry racing line. The only thing I'd say with that is, with the dry racing line, when I watch motorsport, when it's raining, they still do use, they still kind of use the racing line. It seems like you've got to be a little, it's like very exaggerated on iRacing. You still, whenever I watch, whether it's F1 or GT racing or whatever in the wet, they still do use a form of the racing line. But on iRacing, you literally go around the racing line. It's like avoid it at all costs. Maybe they've gone a bit too much. Like that, I don't know.
Right, I need to focus anyway. I'll, I'll never get this black talk otherwise. Dickhead. Not even worth carrying this on to go. Definitely not worth now. Uh, no, no, no. I, I, I don't think GT7 has the best. Oh, what do you mean by rain physics? What do you mean by rain physics? I don't know whether I know what you mean by that. Like. In terms of the way that the rain falls, or if you're on about how the rain looks and falls, Drive Club shits on everything. Drive Club has the best rain, the rain look, the way it looks. No game will beat Drive Club at the moment. Still the better, honestly, it still is the best looking game when it comes to rain, but and clouds and the volumetric clouds and all that. Drive Club was amazing. But um, for how it feels, I wouldn't say Gran Turismo. Definitely not Gran Turismo for how it feels. Visual effects. Did you ever play Drive Club, Demetrius? Honestly, mate. Did you ever play Drive Club? Because that game shits all over Gran Turismo for the weather effects. No. Not right. I'm, so, I'm getting frustrated with this. I can't get it right when I'm on. I cannot get it right. No, I hit that curve funny. Fuck you. Two temps off anyway on that sector. Yeah, physics wise, GC7's rain's not great. Like they, they also the, the dry in line on GC7 with how quick like different parts are tracking the cars behind. It's it's massively overdone, like with you know, you can be five cars back and have like a second well, I'd honestly say if you're about if you're at the back of a line of cars, you literally have in an average lap like say a normal distance two minute you probably have like a second and a half advantage at least in pace it's, it's overdone they went too far with it on gt7 they basically artificially wanted closer racing and it's a bit gimmicky uh there is some group three cars aura that uh, at Bathurst, Antonio was using weak ABS with the Lexus. But um, there is some cars that will work with it. It's just, and it's based on the tracks that you use. For example, at Sardegna for me, in the Group 2 CLK, um, weak ABS didn't feel faster. It was default, was better for me. It seems to be based on track and car. You just have to test it. That was nice. Right, focus time, chat. I think, I don't know, I didn't get the power down on the exit though either.
I need to nail the last corner to improve it. It's got to be absolutely perfect. Don't think, I don't know. It's close, it's gonna be close. Piss off, I've had enough. <laughs> I've had enough. Uh... <laughs> I've had enough. That'll have to do us for today, chat. I, it's pissing me off. I can't. Huh. <laughs> That'll have to do us. We got. We. I mean, we improved. I'm too tired now. I'm. I'm feeling that point where I just want to punch it <laughs> so, it's getting on my tits i think to improve my lap i'd need to do it off stream because i i'm just yeah i lose focus when i'm streaming on time trial but at least we got to a point eight it's not too bad um it was an all right lap but i don't really get where it I don't really get where i lost that tenth on that last corner because i thought i did it all right i thought that last corner was okay i just lost a tenth on it though and i don't know why it, it, it must be, it's just probably just random didn't get on the throttle quite early enough or something like that but it's the way it is this track is all about getting on that throttle early and getting the exits from the corners it's just one of that yeah I, I i do I, when i do time trial i normally do it off stream because i can focus better and actually nail all that but yeah um <laughs> that wasn't gonna work that i was just we did improve overall though we went I've gone a, a tenth and a half quicker overall. It's not much, but it's moved me up. Um, I think from like, I don't know, 60th to 29th. It's a very close time trial. So he's gone quicker as well, the little shit. <laughs> he's gone quicker, chat. He's on a point one now. So he's, he must, he's been watching. He's trying to improve his time, hasn't he? He's gone to a point one now. He was on a point two before, but now let's have a little watch where he improved. Before we go, let's watch this point one. Let's see if he if he does anything slightly different. Revved out fifth a little bit more than what he did before there, you know. He actually revved out fifth a little bit more than what he was doing before. He breaks very late, very late there. Oh, he took a, he took more chunk off that foot. I reckon his first sector might be better. I think he's improved the first sector a bit. Let's just see his, let's see what this first sector is. It looks like he took more off the the corner and got a better exit, but let's just check it. It's a point three. It's a tenth quicker than what I've been through there. Oh, he got that right, didn't he? Ah, uh, yeah. Don't forget to hit the like button, chat. I forgot about likes. I normally do. Helps me out if you hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you to everyone who's already hit that subscribe button. It's that, 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 I just can't, I can't, my brain will not work that quick. <laughs> like, it's, it's watch how quickly, I don't think I can do the shifts on my magnet. With the magnetic shifters, I don't think I can do that second to fourth as quick as he does there. It won't let me. He nails that, that's where he gains on me, chat, honestly. It is purely that, that corner, he gains like three temps on me, I reckon, two, two to three temps. I'm losing most of my time just out of the second Lesmo. Yeah, because he does a point nine. He's he's literally two, three temps quicker than me on that sector. I've just looked. He's like two temps quicker on the second sector. Where does he break in? Does he use second gear for rotation? Because I reckon second's quicker. Let's see if he uses second for rotation. Breaks late. Oh, he does now. He didn't before. That looks quicker. I should have been doing that because I think that's quicker. We tested it out, didn't we? He's, he's done it on that lap. Interesting. I think that second for rotation is quicker. <laughs> yeah, that is a crazy lap. It is crazy. It seems to be quicker. I, I, I stopped doing that. I tried it once and it did seem like it'd be quicker, but then I stopped it. No, I'm not. That's I can't go again, chat. 
I need to make sure my arms are right for tomorrow night. Um, I don't know what I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might do a stream in the day tomorrow because, to be honest, chat the highlights videos are just dead. No one watches them, so I need to try and get different type of content to do on the channel. Like I said before. The highlights videos are just flopping. They're, they're not worth doing anymore. Like the, the GT World Series highlights videos, no one watches them, basically. The odd people do, obviously, but they don't do well on YouTube. So I think it's time to try and do some, get some different type of content. So I might do some, um, I might do dailies in the morning. Uh, we'll see how we feel. A bit of dailies. Have a, like, do three, four hours a day, like three hours of dailies in the morning, then have a break and then do dailies in the evening, um, GT World Series in the evening, maybe. We might do that. Um, we shall see. <laughs> I want to do a video about... Um, I want to do a video about the... What do you call it? Um, the problem with the gear shifts and the wheel rotation. I might use the highlights from the Interlagos race to emphasize it. I want to do a video about that to see if anyone from PD will actually... You know, watch it. I, I'm sh Honestly, SDS, I, don't, I can't do different editing because I'm no good at editing. That's not my... I'm shit at editing videos, mate. I, I haven't got a clue how to do stuff, really, when it comes to editing. I literally can only do very basic stuff on editing. That's all I can really do. I'm no good at doing, like, um, fancy shit on there. And also, i got to be honest with you. I don't like cheesy stuff. I don't like cheesy stuff. It, it's not for me. It's not me. I'd rather keep my content based on what I... It's hard. Like, I want it to be based on... Me not trying to be someone else, if you know what I mean. I don't want to be copying other people and just doing cheesy shit. I, I, I it's not me, so I, I don't want to be false like that. I just need to focus on different type of content. I think there's a video that I know what I need to do, which will definitely do pretty well on the channel. I've just got to get it sorted. So I'll probably just start focusing on different things like that. Yeah, editing is um, yeah. like I can do like slow mo. I can do like picture in picture. I can do like um, like music over a, a clip or something, but like adding other stuff, I'm no good at adding other stuff. Like, ah, uh, what do you mean by scenic movie? I don't know what you mean by that. I don't know what you mean. See, if you try and be fancy with replays of races, no one watches it. I've tried that before. I've I like I've done stuff like that. People just want to. I think. In all honesty, chat, to get views at the moment, you've got to focus on chaos, dirty drivers, something like that, or I don't know. Maybe I should... I, I What I might do is buy a um, bigger hard drive to record my streams. I honestly think people tend to be drawn to seeing someone on a video. Do you know what I mean? Like actually seeing someone on a video actually driving rather than just, no, you know, just a recorded clip with no one there. I think people... From what I've looked at and what I've been like, like re not researching, but you know, watching other people's content, people tend to want to watch you in the driver's seat and talking and racing rather than an, a commentary over a video. It just seems to be that seems to be the new way of a video now. It seems to be do better. Yeah, people like the dramatic shit. Yeah, true. Yeah, editing, it's not easy to do. Like, I mean, the basics are easy on an editing a video. The basics are very easy. Yeah, that's that's the problem, Squids. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, with with um, with um with GT World Series highlights videos, they're just not worth doing it because, in all honesty, it's kind of a waste anyway because if people really are that desperate to watch it, they'll just watch the live stream and re-watch the race. It just seems like a waste of... Like, for example, I spent, like, this morning, three hours editing the video. And I'll tell you now, what, what's the views on it now? Let's have a little look. It's currently on 803 views, chat, in eight hours of viewing. That's made, at the moment, revenue, that's probably made about one pound, if that. Might have made a pound. So I've done three hours of work for a pound. It's not It's not worth my time to do that. I need to find something different. Probably be better to stream. I need to like. I need to find a different form of content. And that's why I'm thinking about buying a bigger hard drive. Because at the moment, I've only got a one gigabyte, one gigabyte, one terabyte hard drive to record my streams. So within four streams, it's full. 
So what I'm probably going to do is buy a bigger one, like a, I don't know, an eight, eight terabyte, whatever, bigger. Just buy a massive one and then just record all the streams and take footage from the streams for videos. It is, it, in all honesty, it's easier for me and it seems to be what people want to watch. Um, yeah, oh no, I, I, I mean... The, we put it out at 1 p.m. today, our video. 1 p.m. today, our video went out. But there's no reason why notifications shouldn't have gone out for that video because there was no other content. There was no stream in the morning. There was no YouTube shorts. My my notification views were really low off it. It was as if, like, people... That's what I, I was suspicious of the video straight away because it was like no one even knew it went out. It's just... I think it's just YouTube sometimes is a bit shit, isn't it? It randomly... Sometimes it gets, um, sometimes it'll get pushed, sometimes it doesn't. Well, it's not just 700 vid people, though, is it, Anton? It's like, for example, I'll show you now. This is a, the problem with um, GT World Series highlights videos. So if I go to my GT last GT World Series live stream and we got the result on the second race for it. Well, I'll tell you, what, we'll go to the race that the, the nation's live stream, 5,000 people have watched that live stream and we only did one race oh no that was the test that wasn't the actual race sorry 6400 people watched the nation's live stream video and we did it on our first attempt so that's probably 6400 people that are like do i really want to watch a highlights video again that's where the issue is you got people that have already seen it first race we got the result they know what happened they probably don't really care about watching a replay. Some people will re-watch it. Some people will re-watch it, but a lot of people don't care because they've already seen the result. That That's a problem. But, um, yeah, we we did used to get okay views on highlights videos, but I think people have just started to realise it's just as easy to watch the live stream. iRacing videos don't... I, I've never had luck with iRacing videos. Even when I used to focus on iRacing iRacing videos never really took off. Um, they don't really... For me, they don't, anyway. Um, streams, they're okay. We had, we had, we actually had all right views on, the, on one stream we did a while ago, like nearly 300 people watching it, so it wasn't too bad. It wasn't, like, massive, but it wasn't bad. Um, I just think we need to focus on content that's... If we're going to use... I think if I'm going to do a highlights video, it's got to be a, from the live stream, do you know what I mean? I've got to edit it with me on the camera and just like edit out bits that are boring and just keep it based on like with the camera on and stuff like that because that seems to be what people are watching now. I had Max for sapping into the replays. <laughs> Might get some views then. But yeah, the, the highlights videos of races you've already seen, I think it's just a waste of my time. and It's, it's clearly not what people want to watch because people aren't watching it. So... There's no point doing it. We've done that before, Squids. I, I honestly I've done that. I've tried that one. I've done the over, I've done the overtake videos and I've done the crash videos. I thought the crash video would do really well because it was taken from like GT World Series races, it had people crashing in there, but didn't really take off on the channel. Tags don't do nothing. Tags don't do nothing, David. When you so I tagged on the description. But are you on about the um, tags in the description? So when you write out, for a YouTube video, the only thing that really matters is your title and description. Tags don't do nothing. Your like, tags that you do in a, in a YouTube video don't do shit for the video at all, really. They, they're irrelevant. On a YouTube short, however, tags are really important. Um, tags are one of the most important things on a YouTube short. On a live stream, again, it's not so much tags. It's only really YouTube shorts where your tags are really important. But yeah, on a video, tags do jack shit, basically. They don't do anything. I got told that by the YouTube partner manager. He's, he's, I've obviously been told all that. Like The only place where um, tags are relevant is on a YouTube short. When it comes to videos and live streams, your tags... You could literally just write Gran Turismo 7, GT7, GT7, like different spelling, like Gran Turismo without capitals. You could literally just do that and it still get the same views. Yeah, but videos don't get viewed by stat by tag, so David, that's the thing. Videos are only viewed by your videos are viewed. Um, tags don't make any difference. I've I've already had this conversation with my YouTube partner manager. He was saying tags will do 
literally nothing to push your video nothing about a youtube tag will on a video it doesn't do jack shit you might get one or two maybe but mainly the main thing on a youtube on a youtube video it's your thumbnail title and description they're the three priorities tags are irrelevant basically he said you literally could have the same video um he said you could have the same video and even if people search whatever it won't make any difference Uh, the game getting old, yeah, but then you look at other people, though, Flash. Other people are getting bigger views who have got, like, much smaller subscribers. Not, like, even smaller subscribers and, like, obviously bigger ones as well that are getting way more views. So it's just, I think, I think it's the type of content we're doing as videos. I think we need to focus more on, I don't know, got to make the, got the, the, the videos have got to be entertaining. So I think if we have a bit of a chaotic race, we need to start saving them, them races. I try to avoid it. In all honesty, I've tried my best to avoid the chaos races. I don't mind doing the odd video on it. Like, I I would probably do like one every three months, two, three months. But I think I need to start doing maybe like, you know, got skin on my mouth. Like, if we have like a chaotic race on a daily C, we need to upload it. We need to get it on the channel. yeah david but I, I don't know if you know i don't know i don't know what you mean to be honest because on youtube the only tags that you do are in the description when you're writing them out and them tags are irrelevant the only time them tags are used for youtube is based on um youtube shorts it doesn't do anything for a video at all it doesn't make any difference to your video you could tag i could tag iRacing on my tags for a gran turismo video it won't do any difference to it it still perform the same because it's based on your thumbnail title and description that's the three things that it, it drags people in from it's not growing fast though it's not a, it really is an epic though to be honest if you look at the growth we're getting it's pretty slow in all honesty um we like for example we had two good months where we got like i'll show you now subscribers on my channel you'd be surprised you know like let's have a little look here um we, we, it's not actually that that amazing you know for subscribers so so far in the last 28 days we've only had, we've had 842 subscribers in the last 28 so basically a month we've had 842 subscribers which is more than normal it's 42 more than normally i get but still it's not it's not that amazing really when you look at our channel it's not that massive really i mean subscribers is always up and down it's always like it's always like I think I think Christmas time was quite good because everyone was off and then it's faded a little bit now, but different videos as well. I, I noticed the the best video for subscribers for me is the um, two million credit time trial. That's my best subscriber video. I always get good subscribers off that, always gets decent views, always does quite well on the channel. Like it's fa it faded a little bit recently. Um what was the last one? The last one was uh where was the last time trial chat does, does anyone know where it was can't find it oh there it is um the le mans one the le mans one that's got six and a half thousand views and it'll probably end up over ten thousand but <clears throat> that's the only one that really does well at the moment for videos but they're not the videos that usually do well on my channel. Track guys normally do shite. The only reason them videos do well is because you earn 2 million credits for them. Um, the only reason that one track guide does well is because you get 2 million credits. If that if that time trial didn't have credits for earning it, that would be a shit video. It's literally because it's a 2 million credit video. If, like, if they didn't give you 2 million credits, hardly anyone would watch them. Um, but yeah, I, I know of it, like I said... Uh, squids i've got a video that i want to do on the channel to do with like a lot of there's some like some things that not a lot of people know about and like i'm trying i'm gonna try and do a video to cover like 10 different subjects or 10 different things that not most of you will know about most of them like if you play gt every day you're probably gonna know it but there's people that don't play it every day and they, they have, like we see it in the stream when we tell people stuff they're like surprised and they don't know about it so there is something i want to do
yeah, it, I need to get it done, Squids. It's got to be done. I think it's that's that's the type of video I, I should do rather than doing the, the highlights videos. So if I've got three, four hours spare, start working on that. And then even if it takes two to three days to get it done, it's better to do one good video than three highlights videos that everyone's already seen. It's probably a better thing to do. Key lean competition, a compilation. <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe we should do the plebs. Pleb moments when we crash. There'd be too many to count, though. Be too many. There'd be too many. The video would be too long if it was plebs, like the pleb moments. <laughs> nah, we... One thing I do want to do, though, again, like I say, is iRacing this week. But I, I bought I bought the Algarve tracks. They, they added that. I bought that before. Um, it only cost me £2. Cost me £2, chat. Because I got... Um, someone used my link to... Um, what do you call it? To subscribe to iRacing. So I had $10 for free. I was like, yes. £2 for a track. I was like, I'll take that. Now, the only problem is I don't know the track yet. I need to learn it. So I think I have... I have driven the Algarve track on... I want to say... Project Cars 2 and... Grid. I want to say Grid and Project Cars 2 that I've driven the Algarve track on, I think. Might not be Project Cars 2. It might be another game. But I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure it was on Grid. So I do know it, but I don't know it well enough on iRacing, obviously. So I'd have to learn it properly. <laughs> SDS would watch them on repeat. What was that? Cat interaction highlights. <laughs> Cat causing chaos. Cat causes chaos. We've only had it a couple of times. So I think we haven't had it that many. I think it's the cat's only interrupted the stream like twice or three times. It always interrupts it at the worst moment. Yeah, it's a tricky track, isn't it? Might have been the F1 game as well, maybe. Can't remember. Ah, but anyway, chat, I'm going to, um, I've, I've been sat here talking for ages, haven't I again? A Tilly complex, yeah. I've been sat here talk, talking. How many likes do we end up on? 250. Thank you to them people that have done that. I think I only reminded you once in the stream. So thank you to the people that hit that, um, that like button. Also, um, tomorrow. So yeah, I might do, I think I might need to do a stream in the morning. Might need to chat. We might do a morning stream. And then do a little evening stream. So we'll start like morning, do three hours, have a break, and then stream at, I think it starts at, uh, what time does it start? Four, four or five, is it? I don't know. Uh, I think it's five, seven, and nine, isn't it? So we'll try and get on for like, I don't know, quarter past four, half four, and we'll do a little half an hour of time trial before it starts. So yeah, we'll do like half four for GT World Series. And then like quarter past nine in the morning, something like that. We'll jump on for three hours of daily races. I might even, I could have, I should have really done some time trial for that. I haven't done anything for that yet, but um, looks like the McGann can compete there. Maybe do a, a couple of laps in the McGann and get a lap done for that as well. Um, maybe do some daily B as well. I haven't done any daily A either yet, so we'll see. We might do a bit of both, or we might just do Monza in the morning. I'll see how I feel. But anyway, thank you all for coming in. Thank you for the um, gifted membership in the stream. And uh, any new subscribers, thank you for subscribing, and thank you for hitting that like button. And I will see you all tomorrow morning, chat. Um, we'll get up for nine-ish, and we'll do some dailies, and then we'll stream GT World Series in the evening. So I'll... See you all then in the morning, chat. Have a great night. Enjoy whatever you're doing. And thank you for coming in again, legends. Have a great one, chat. Bye.